Hello everybody. Uh, this is Valerie. I had some questions about my rolling pin art yesterday, so I thought I would attempt to put together a quick video here. I'm going to be using a variety of acrylic paints. You can use craft paint, whatever your favorite type of paint is. And we'll just get started. Hopefully this will kick up. I've never actually done such a thing. That is making a video like this, so bear with me. You can plop the paint down any which way you are called to do. I'm using fiery colors here because these are some of my favorites. Stuff. We got the rolling pin here, and we'll see. Someone asked how hard it was to clean up, and it was remarkably easy. You can do any kind of pattern you want. There's really no right or wrong way to do this. And just go back and forth until you get a design that's pleasing. It's not unlike rolling out cookie dough. Really. over it as many times as you want to get the effects that you want. Hmm. Okay. A little blush more of orange there. thing about the rolling pin is that it makes the sides really easy to do. If you like to do the sides the same color, of course you can do the sides any which way you desire. as well if you need to pick up any spots that are stubborn. I do advise you kind of wear old clothes, or at least an old shirt. It can get a little bit messy. Careful. Stay this side too. It's really just a version of using a brayer or even a roller, but there's just something about it that's a little bit more fun. And that's just one design. You can twirl it, you can do all kinds of different designs. 
This is something that I kind of like for this one. But I'm going to do a series of different colors. And doesn't the rolling pin look really pretty afterwards? It washes off super easily with just water. That's it. A little quick tutorial in rolling pin painting. Thank you.